Chaos Vantage introduced one of its most important updates. Perhaps many of the 3D artists were waiting for this important update. Finally, support for V-Ray Fur and V-Ray Displacement was added to Vantage software. Of course, now other features such as Ornatrix, Hair Farm, and V-Ray Hair Next Material can be used in Chaos Vantage software. These features can increase the quality of our renders a lot. So stay tuned. I'll show you how to use them to make a great impact on your scenes. Hi, welcome to MimViz. I want to show you the new features in this scene. The floor and wall materials in this scene are made of stone. There is also a carpet under the bed. First, let's see the render of this scene without the V-Ray fur and V-Ray displacement. As you can see, this is not realistic. Of course, before that, we could use normal map to create fake shadows in the rendering process to create protrusions. But by using the displacement map, we can have the stone protrusions as a stone object on the scene with all the elements and details. So let's use it. I choose the floor plane and I assign the V-Ray displacement modifier to it. Now I assign the displacement map of my stone material to the text map parameter and I set the number to 6 cm. Don't forget to set the V-Ray displacement mode to 2D mapping. Now I go back to the Chaos Vantage. But nothing has changed on the floor plane. The reason is that the 2D displacement mode must be activated. To do this, I select the preferences from the Edit menu and I go to the Render Default tab. As you can see, the settings related to the Displacement section have been added to this section. All you have to do is click on the Emulate 2D Displacement option, and now open the software again to enable this option. As you can see, now we see the effect of ray displacement on the floor plane, but I need more details. I assign a wireframe material to the floor surface so that the changes can be seen more clearly. Now I go back to the displacement section in the preferences window. Here there is an option called tessellation level. In computer graphics, Tessellation is the dividing of data sets of polygons that we can use to increase the amount of segments and mesh density so that we can have more details of the displacement map and have a more realistic stone material. In the high option, the number of segments is maximized. This amount of detail is good, but still not enough for me. Let's see how the details can be made even more than high tessellation option. The solution is that in the 3D Max software, increase the amount of segments. So I go back to the 3D Max software and I add the Turbo Smooth modifier to the floor plane. I increase its amount. At the end, I will add the bump map to my material. Now, by increasing the number of segments, I can have the most details from the displacement map. Let's see the result. The result is superlative. Now we go to the wallstone material. I used a plain object for the wall. 
and I increase the segment parameters in the plane object settings. This makes me no longer need Turbo Smooth modifier to increase details. Now I choose the V-Ray Displacement modifier. This time, I set the mode to 3D mapping and set the intensity to 15 cm. Now you see the result in Chaos Vantage, a hyper-realistic result. The protrusions and roughness of the stone are very real and impressive. But there is one more exciting part left. V-Ray Fur in Chaos Vantage software. It is very easy to use. Click on the Create New Fur Object option. This option has been added to Chaos Vantage 2 Update 2. Select Source Objects from the Settings section. Now from the Basic Settings section, you can control the parameters of Length, Thickness, Gravity, Bend, and Taper. Everything is very simple and easy. The Taper option adds a taper to the individual strands of fur. Increasing this value makes the tips thinner and the root wider. But my recommendation is to use the Variation Settings section to get the best results. The Direction War option adds slight variation to the direction in which fur strands grow from the source object. If you want to add curls to fur, activate the Curls option. But let's take a look at the Direction and State Settings section. In the Direction per Face mode, the number of fur strands is calculated per triangular face of the source object. And in the Direction per Area mode, the number of strands is calculated per squared scene unit. Knots. Fur strands are rendered as several connected straight segments. This parameter controls the number of segments. More segments make the strands smoother, but also add to the render time. Segment limit. A limit for the number of segments to generate for this fur object. The limit is evenly distributed between the source objects. For the change of these parameters, be sure to pay attention to the information that is in the bottom of this section. And be sure that these changes do not disrupt your scene. Now let's compare the render of this scene before and after this update. The features of this update are excellent. Vantage software is getting better day by day. This software is excellent in terms of speed and quality. So start using it as soon as possible. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and support us by liking this video. And finally, how do you think Chaos Vantage scores compared to Lumion or D5 Render? Comment your opinion for us. Thank you for watching this video. Until the next video, goodbye.